Right, we're talking economic policies and, you know, there's a sense that it's pretty much the same thing. Um, most parties, most candidates at this time of the year tend to pretty much say the, the big issues that are very common and well documented concerning Nigeria's um, economic situation. But what are your thoughts? Do you agree with that view that it's pretty much the same message? To some extent it has been. Um, most of the, uh, the election has actually been remarkable for the absence of economic de debate. I think what has shaped these elections in Nigeria has been questions of political equity. Um, so, which in Nigeria speak, or Nigeria political speak, is known as zoning. That's been the defining issue of, of these elections. And to that extent, you've not had a great deal of economic issues being debated. Um, Having said that, I, I think that there are nuances, there are slight differences between the different platforms. So the economic strategy, uh, by the way, you know, economic debate is about how we pay for our development and what the priorities of our development are going to be. The president's, um, that's the Good Luck Jonathan campaign is built around energy, energy re sector reform to drive economic development. I think the Buhari campaign, uh, the CPC, is built around notions of discipline. Um, and the Nuhuri Badu campaign is focused on corruption. Uh, while the Shekarao campaign, that's the All Nigerian People's Party campaign, has mostly been about peace and security. And if you have a peaceful and secure country, then you can bring in investment. That, that broadly is, is, is what the messaging has been. But are there structures in your view that limit the impact that um, political leaders can make in terms of economic growth? Obviously, there's always a sense that um, there is the political elite that will always have a bearing on whoever is in power. But do you think structurally there are any issues, perhaps maybe with our constitution, that limits the impact that political leaders can make in terms of our economics? Some people have argued that the nature of the Federation, the allocation of responsibilities to the center, is a bit bloated. And actually that you can streamline the responsibilities given to the center, focusing on the federal government, that is focusing on foreign affairs, defense, maritime regulation, uh, and, uh, and, and homeland security. And to that extent, uh, and if you can do that, then devolve much more significantly to the states. Um, for instance, a, ma a major problem, of course, in the energy area is the fact that energy is a federal issue. And the state governments are complaining that they cannot commission electricity projects because there is a monopoly by the federal government. The federal government does not want to license them to do that. Now, the, the, you have that kind of structural problem, but uh, there is still a great deal that can be done both at the center and at the state level which I think is the, is the evidence for that comes from the record of the current government in Lagos State. I think by many people's um, accounts, uh, perception, the Lagos State government appears to have done a good bit or something with the little that it's got. And, and people are asking, why can't this kind of performance be seen across the country? Mm. Let's talk about focus, because for instance, the late um, um, President Yaradwa did highlight a seven-point agenda. But many feel that, you know, Nigeria dealing with seven issues might not be the best way to go about it, perhaps focusing on one or two. What are your thoughts on focusing on the economic priorities today? It's, it's, it's difficult to focus on one thing in Nigeria because the linkages, because government has been so destroyed, our governance has been so destroyed over the past 25, 30 years, it's difficult to focus on one thing without having to come up against several others. I think that's the problem. Um, if you want to do jobs, there's no way you can do jobs on investment without doing energy or without doing, uh, for instance, debt. You know, the public debt profile is just unsustainable. Uh, and part of that is the fact that the federal government is the biggest single employer. When you add it all up, it's a little over one million. You can say, well, that's a lot less than, than uh, a company in the United States employs, which is probably true. Um, but the, the, the federal government is by far, the government is by far the biggest single employer in the country and the biggest single business entity in the country and that does not conduce, that does not facilitate investment activity, private sector activity, voluntary sector activity and how you create the incentives for all of these other stakeholders to participate mm -hmm. is a problem. And if you don't have all of those people, all of these other actors taking part in the economic process, then 
you have the kind of politics we've got, mm. which is everybody rushing to control government because they see that as the only avenue. So we don't have any uh, alternative. If we're going to get our politics right in Nigeria, we've got to deconcentrate from government. And that is what economic development is about.